Hey guys, Athena here, and welcome back to Code 3 Life. Uh, got a lot of stuff done today, and now I can finally sit down and make my next video. Um, there was a bit of a cluster on my, on my last one when I reviewed Chicago Fire. I had to, uh, take it down and re-upload it three times because of copyright issues, even though I checked and I wasn't actually breaking any rules, but whatever. So I just took out the offending parts and put it back up because fuck the man. Um, yeah, so please check that out. I, all of my previous views were knocked out and, and all the comments, so feel free to view and re-comment. Um, so yeah. Um, today, I, I wanted to do something just EMS related. And I went down my list and I watched all the trailers for everything that I've that I've got on my list and they all looked terrible. And it, except for Sirens, which I will be reviewing at some point, but I just I'm just not in the mood today to sit down and watch something that's awful. So I'm gonna sit down and review something that I know I already like. I am reviewing parts of bringing out the dead today Wah! um not the whole movie because that would be an insanely long video um i have seen breaking out the dead once but it was a long time ago and i was a lot more interested in making out with the boy that i was hanging out with than watching the video the, the movie so i didn't retain a whole lot but we're happily engaged now so there you go um <laughs> So yeah, Bringing Out the Dead, um, I'm sad to admit, is only Nicolas Cage's second greatest movie, the first obviously being National Treasure. Um, and yeah, it's all about a burnt out medic who, uh, you just watch it if you don't know the, 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 the plot, just watch it. <clears throat> but it has easily some of the most hilarious slash relatable scenes in any movie ever. So, I'm excited. Let's jump in. <laughs> so many stairs. Oh God. Hysterical family who's absolutely no help. And he started punching his chest in the house. Yeah. Messing me lots of stuff in the bathroom. So I told him I was going to call you guys. He said, I'm going to stop reading. I don't know, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 20. Uh, Putin on the phone trying to tell us how to do CPR. <laughs> we can do this for me. We can do what we can. It's fine. I never heard him cry before. So, since this is an old movie, they're not starting compressions nearly as quickly as, as we would now. Because um, we know now the, the benefit of early compressions. Got the two. Excellent. The fake part is that the family's now quiet. They would still be making ass loads of noise. Which would, of course, distract you, but that's clear, what clear. Oh! Yeah, I need you to step back. Yeah, no more. Don't try and save him. Oh yeah, Johnny and Roy, that shit. Flip the tops. Oh my god, I've done that so many times on scene and I always feel so cool. <laughs> Slam. Yes. Asystole. They shocked Asystole again. Oh no. Spirits angry at the awkward places death had left them. Speaking of awkward, is that super I awkward narration? I wasn't think this way, but I was convinced that if I turned around, I'd see old man Burke standing at the window, watching, waiting for us to finish. Hmm. Oh, let's do it. My 
might be a good one. There are no good fires. People die in fires. People get burned up in fires. We can't burn. More often, there's nobody in the fire. <clears throat> or, way more often, uh, it's not actually a fire. And it, you just burn the cookies. Or the shower steamed up the fire detector. Or, my personal favorite, my neighbors are having a barbecue and they didn't invite me. So I'm going to call and say that they've got a fire going on. <laughs> oh my god. Old people are nuts, man. <laughs> Green. That's what we're here for. Let's go. I'll fix my kill cushion right here. Don't get burned out me and your scorch. Yeah, they're, they're still burning. Can you close them? Let's go burn them again. flyers for the win oh yeah oh, oh, oh yeah we got a couple in in the place that i work we get we got probably a solid five that we see at least once a week and they're never just drunk because you know that would be too easy they are always drinking i don't know hand sanitizer vanilla extract cooking wine which you can purchase without an id by the way but you need an id to purchase dayquil when the fuck is that i don't know anyway um yeah and let me tell you someone who has been who, who has gotten drunk on vanilla extract does not smell like vanilla <laughs> But yeah, 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 uh, just, you know, fourth time this week, yeah. Um, they did, they, they, they brought together all of the calls that Denver paramedics, which, who's, who are the people who do 911 for Denver, and um, I think three years ago, half of all their calls were responding to the same six people. Yeah, uh, <laughs> and, and it is actually our job to taxi drunks around because, uh, not to get too deep on you here, but the healthcare system in America is broken and all of society's ills fall to EMS and the hospital system. So, here's a truth bomb for you. Oh my god. The best scene in any EMS movie ever. <laughs> oh no, he's dead! Okay, what happened? Please tell me he's gonna be alright. <laughs> well, he did. Oh, he did! Just our first deal. Look, he did, son. Ain't nothing we can do about it. Come on, Frank, that's it. What do you mean he's dead? He's not dead. It's a heroin overdose. Mm -hmm. It's because of Narcan. Narcan. Unless you folks want to stop bullshitting me until it's sweet, yeah. then the good Lord willing will try and bring him back. <sighs> he broke up with his old lady. We didn't break up. We were just uh, seeing other she people. Broke his heart. Shut up, asshole! Shut Nobody up, asked so you. I will not tell you. I will shut up. I'm still waiting, and this young man here is still dead. You <laughs> end up like him. Shut up. Dick. Shut up. He's been snorting that red death. 
stuff. It's been going on for like four days now. Red bear stuff. You can spare the drugs in the name of Jesus. <laughs> What's his name? I'll be banging. What you mean I'll be banging? I'll, I'll be, be banging. What the hell kind of name is I'll be banging? I don't know his real name. Frederick Smith. Okay, Frederick. It's Frederick. Okay, I'll be banging. I'm going to bring you back from the dead. Now, I want everybody here to grab the hand of the person next uh, to you. But that IV placement, though. It's honestly one of my biggest pet peeves that nobody in any medical related hospital, EMS, doctor, movie, or TV show knows how to start a goddamn IV. Or even knows how to make an injection. I think my favorite, like, needle related fuck up in movies and TV shows, and by favorite, I mean the one that gives me an aneurysm, is when they stick a needle in somebody's neck. Especially if the needle is like that long. And I'm just like, you're gonna hit trachea, dude. You're gonna go all the way fucking through. There's no meat in the neck. Unless you're fat. There's no there there's no meat in the neck. There's like nothing that is not super important in the neck. There's like bone and like brain fart. Ligaments and tendons and arteries and veins, trachea, esophagus, that's all. That's like all that's in the neck. There's not an awful lot. In the neck that's why you go here or in the leg or in the ass like yeah sorry I just got super off topic right um yeah that IV placement though I don't even know where he was going he got he went so deep he, he, I and, and there, there, there's like a lot of important stuff in here too that's what like tap it it's hard because there's like ligaments and tendons and shit the veins are in the soft places, like here. But that does not take away from the part, the, the fact that this scene is fucking brilliant in every capacity. Let's continue, sorry. <laughs> We're ready to go. Yeah, like 30 seconds. Look up towards the heavens. Dear Lord, here I am again. Action one no chance for a sinner. Please, Lord, bring back Ivy Bangin. You have the power. Oh, my God. You might not. You might not. You might not. Just spare this worthless man. Oh! Oh, he's back! Yes! Lord, oh, thank you, Lord. What happened? You fucking died, you stupid bastard. I warned you. Damn, you guys are good. Not us. The first step is love. The second is mercy. <laughs> Ooh, oh my god, I love that scene. <sighs> it is worth pointing out that if he was actually dead and had no pulse, you would have to do compressions to get the Narcan into the body, otherwise it would just stay wherever the fuck Nick Cage, Nicholas Cage put it, like right here, and it wouldn't circulate that's what the heart does but <laughs> it's still a great great scene um oh someone did ask me to do more explanation for medical terms and stuff so narcan i'm assuming if you watch the news you know what narcan is but narcan is a medication that goes into the brain and it blocks all the receptors that opio opioids can affect um so if it's stopping you from breathing, you can start breathing again. If it's like decreasing your blood pressure because you've stopped breathing, it can help with that. If you're like unconscious, it'll wake you up. If you push it too fast or if you give too much, you'll completely pull them out of their high and put them into withdrawals and they will come up swinging and projectile vomiting. So it's a line, you ride the line. Again with the stairs. Whoa. <coughs> please, hurry. Please hurry, come this 
causes babies still to this day i'm pretty sure i ran one of those what day is it two days ago so that's a possibility never no cigarettes no drugs no beer no underwear we're virgins oh jesus we better go call for backup maybe he is oh no three legs there's too many back up that's too many <laughs> <laughs> it's literally coming out of her right now. For those of you who haven't seen this movie, part of the reason why he's so burnt out is because he's been getting kind of a string of people who die on him, and he just got the dead one. Um, but what just happened there is what's called a breech birth. It's when anything that's not the head comes first. Um, it's very, very bad. A lot of the time you can't deliver the baby that way and they have to come out by C-section. Um, and that can happen a lot with premature babies or a couple other things, which is why it's very important to get prenatal care because even though the baby moves all around during pregnancy, during the last four weeks-ish of pregnancy, it should start heading that way. So, yeah. And it's also very dangerous for the mother because you can break and tear and, and stuff. It's really bad. So, breach birth is bad, but it's also very rare. So, that's good. Um, and also, that baby was delivered not breathing and not moving, but a lot of babies come out like that. That's why you, you, you rub and you, you clear the airway, just like our heroes did in 911. Yeah, you remember that when they, yeah fucking idiots anyway um yeah so that baby's not necessarily dead but for the drama of the movie of course don't give me that look <laughs> what look you know what look it's all over your face that i just saved a little baby boy look we just saved the little bouncing baby boy Think of it that I don't want to hear about it, okay? That's three jobs for the night. It's over. Three jobs. Time for a drink. <laughs> 6 a.m. The cocktail hour. Right? So pass the box. Oh my god. That 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 would be really nice. Uh, because I, I actually just came off of night shift about a month ago. Um, and now I'm on day shift. And not only day shift, but a day shift that starts at 4 30 in the morning. But, but having a coffee shop that is open all night that turned into a bar like in the morning would be very nice get on it bar is now open oh no I hate you. you know when i had that little baby in my uh, hand, i felt like i 
was 21 again. Uh, Going like that makes me want to go back to work at three nights a week, not two. Three! You start running again. Cut down on the drinking. <laughs> Uh, that it is. That it is. However, I can't say I've ever done the greatest job in the world while chugging gin. That's orange juice. The greatest job in the world. The greatest job in the world. I'm so grateful. Tell her the bus died. Tell her the radio's not working. Tell her our bags are empty. Tell her that we're too drunk to take any more calls. Tell her we're dead. I have to admit, I, I have gotten to this point, but only because I'm tired, not burnt out. And sorry to just throw in one little detail in the middle of the video. The reason I'm pausing it so often isn't because I have that much to say, but because this is what stops me from getting dinged for copyright things. Hey. <laughs> no! serious note that is like the most common way that paramedics and EMTs are killed on the job is with ambulance crashes so when you see flashing lights in your rear view or coming at you slow down and pull to the right slow down pull to the right one more time slow down pull to the right otherwise you're a twat <sighs> <laughs> Is such a touchy subject that I have so many opinions about that I'm not going to share right now. Um, but yeah, yeah. Um, suicidal people end up in our ambulances all the time. People who aren't suicidal 
but want everybody to think they are, end up in our ambulances all the time because people need help, people need support, and the only thing that they can think to do to get that support is to call 911 because your friends might be busy and your parents might be sick of you drinking all the time and your wife might be real fucking tired of you doing drugs, but you know who's always there for you? That's right. But yeah, it does get frustrating after a while. It definitely does get frustrating, especially the people who can't and won't, won't seek help that is not us. But it doesn't take away from the fact that this scene is so just... Oh, it's funny, but in a terrible way. Uh, <clears throat> Burnout's a hell of a drug, y'all. Oh, man. Oh, man. I kind of forgot how, uh, how dark this movie was. Um, but it's Martin Scorsese, so there you go. Um, yeah. So, that is Bringing Out the Dead. Uh, it's an interesting movie. It definitely has some truths in it. Definitely some not so true things, but definitely have some truths. Burnout is legit. If the number one cause of death for people in EMS in this country is getting hit by uh, cars and, and things on scenes, really, really close to that is suicide due to burnout. And yeah, it, it gets... It gets hard sometimes, especially when you're seeing the same drunk asshole several times a week, when you're dealing with with death, um, when you're dealing with people with addiction who take out their addictions on you, when you're dealing with assault and, and threats and foul language and all of that stuff coming from our patients, especially for those people who work for places that don't give them a lot of support, um, it definitely gets rough. This one was a little bit darker than, than I think my last couple. Um, but yeah, <laughs> it's definitely funny. I'd recommend it to anyone in EMS who hasn't seen it, which is probably like nobody. And anybody who's not an EMS who's a fan of Martin Scorsese and or Nicolas Cage. Um, yeah. So, that's that's what I got for you today. Um, do you want to see the kitty again? He just, I, I'll get him. You want to say hi to the thing? Like, ah! Dance with 
before dishonor. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. That was a mistake. There you go. There you go. There you go. One of these days, I'm gonna do a video and he's gonna be happily sitting on my lap and you guys are gonna get to see him when he's being nice. So, um, yeah. Please hit like and subscribe and comment and all that good stuff. I think I'm gonna put the National Suicide Hotline in the description just because you never know who's going through stuff and a couple hotlines for first responders dealing with stuff um i love you guys thanks for tuning in and i'll see you in the next one